Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here with another quick tip for anyone who uses LearnDash. In this video, we're going to show you how you can insert Zoom calls into your LearnDash content. So what you'll need for this is a admin account and a Zoom account. And what I'm going to do is within the WordPress dashboard, head down here on the left hand side to plugins and then add new. And in the top right here, what we're going to do is search for video conferencing with Zoom. And this is a free plugin here, the one I'm going to use called video conferencing with Zoom. And I'm just going to click install now. Once that's installed, we can choose activate. And now we'll see this in our left-hand menu here. We've got this new Zoom meeting option. The first thing we need to do is configure it and link it with our own Zoom account. Now what we need to do this is get an API key from Zoom. And there is a guide to talk you through this, but what I'm going to do is show you this as part of this video too. In a new tab, I'm just going to Google Zoom Marketplace. And you'll come to this page here, marketplace.zoom.us. If you log into this site here using your own Zoom credentials, so you're using your, your Zoom account here, what we need to do is drop down under this develop section here and then choose build app. Under choose your app type, what you will find is an option to create next to this JWT option here. I've already set this up, so um, I don't have that create option here. But if you're doing this for the first time, you'll have a create button. And what you'll find is that you're asked to put in a few basic details about your app. And once that's done, it will give the option to see a API key and an API secret. I'm just going to copy that here. And what I'm going to do is choose the API key and paste that into here where it says API key. And I'm going to copy the API secret as well and paste that into here. Now there are a few other options here, which I'm, I'm not going to go into, but if you want to explore this plugin in more depth, then have a look through these. I'm just going to choose save changes. And once that's done, we can check the API connection and it'll say whether or not that's working. It says here, API connection is good. So that means that this is now linked with my Zoom account and I can now carry out certain features of, of Zoom. So if I refresh here, this menu will now be expanded and have a few more options within it. And the plugin has lots of features. You can actually create meetings from within here and um, you know manage certain categories and users and see recordings and things like that. So it, it does really integrate well with Zoom, but I'm going to keep things simple for this video and just add a Zoom meeting to one of my LearnDash lessons. So I'm going to go to a course here where I have set up some lessons mixed with some video calls. And this is a Learn Dash lesson here. I'm just going to choose Edit Lesson. And where I currently have the text Insert Zoom Call here, I'm going to get rid of, rid of that. And I'm using the Gutenberg editor here, but if you are using a different editor, I'm sure there's similar things. I'm just going to choose add block here and then search for Zoom. And what I'm going to do is add two ways of showing this. Um, and the first is this join via browser option. And this will embed a, a Zoom um, player into the lesson. Um, so you'll see it on screen. We can add things like a title and a few other options and configure things like the height. But as we've now linked this, this Zoom plugin with my Zoom account, I can choose meeting here, select myself as the host and choose from some meetings. And these are meetings that I have got set up in my own Zoom account. So I've set these up as future meetings and 
I set a password on these um, within my own Zoom profile. And what it's doing is pulling those in so that you can select them from here. I'm going to click Save Now. And what that does is embed a Zoom call into the page. So it's got a bit of a, uh, a break above it here. And I set a, a password on this um, Zoom call. And if you wanted to, um, you could even type that into here. So the password for this room is, and then just paste the, the password. So that is great for anyone who can view this in the browser. But what you might find is that some people can't view this in the browser. And in which case, it's a good idea to give a link to the Zoom call so that it opens within the Zoom app itself. And we can do that with another of the blocks that are made available by this plugin. So if I choose Zoom here again, what I'm going to do is choose this option here called Direct Meeting or Webinar. And again, we can choose whether or not we uh, just show simply a link or whether we embed a bit more information about it. So again, I'm going to choose meeting and choose myself and then choose this cohort meeting one and click save. And what this does is bring up some information about the meeting and when it starts, its current status, and it gives the user an option to join by the Zoom app or by the browser. So we've got two options here. They can see it inside the lesson uh, and join that way or go to it via one of these other options here. If I click update now and then view this lesson, we can see we've got the option to join here by the browser if we want that, or we can click on these links to either open the Zoom app or join by the web browser. And we know that this has a password. If I just click join now, uh, I can click this and join it. And it says it's meeting's not started. But I think that's because the, uh, the host of the meeting would have to actually initiate that. So that's probably why it's uh, saying this. But that's uh, a couple of ways that we can insert a, a Zoom call into your LearnDash lessons. We hope you find this video useful and um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and if you like this video give it a like and if you'd like to see more like this please subscribe to the Spark YouTube channel.